Okay, this is a rock dove pigeon. And that's what we use as the the bait, and uh, and when it's in this harness and it's tied tied you know to, to one of the strings, the lead string, uh, it can't really fly away. It's all protected on the bottom. I mean, this is yeah, this is very 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 thick leather. You know, it's a good solid piece of leather. Yep. Usually buffalo hide or elk hide. So you can use the pigeons more than one day oh, usually? absolutely. Okay, what we do is we have a harness on him and he's got some swivels, some snaps. There he's on the line. The pigeon's on the ground. So how does that, if a hawk comes, how does the net get to where the hawk is? Well, when the hawk comes in, the pigeon will be in the boat in the middle of the bow net. The pigeon in the middle of the bow net. And when the hawk comes in, we're up in the building. When he's on the pigeon, slip it over. Hopefully, if it's quick enough, it'll catch him. You sometimes get the same bird like two days in a row. No, no, no. we they're, very seldom get catch re, catch them with a band on them because they're too smart. If we, yeah, well, you, once they've been caught, they've been educated. Yeah, yeah. They don't come usually come in again. Tell you what, we'll set you up. All right. This is a good one because you'll be able to see it better. Look right out that window. Look out the window, and if I see you a can, hawk come down, you can see the pigeon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pigeon's trying to fly. That's luring. That's uh, agitating. Looked like the bird's injured. Uh huh. And that'll attract. That bird's got a lot of weight on him, so you can see him real well. If we do see a hawk, we'll probably we'll close down all the windows real tight so they can't see in. We don't want them to see us. They step back from the windows. And oh, I see. Then you pull them over to the net. Yeah. What well, we do when you get a hawk on it, or try to get the uh -huh. try to get the uh, pigeon in the middle of the bone net before the hawk gets there, but uh -huh. frequently it doesn't happen. Uh -huh. Hmm. No, he's coming. Agitate that. Oh, oh yeah, we're coming. Right Yeah, he's still down there. Huh? Yeah, he's right there. Here he comes. Do keep doing yours, Mike. Here he comes. He's coming. Yeah, he's coming in. Big time, right? Sitting in the, he's sitting up in the juniper. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get in there, Mike. Get in there. Get in there. I'll look for the third one. <laughs> I think that's all. Yeah. No, no. There's still one more, Mike. Where? Right here. Down, guys. Yeah, come on. You want to write those down, Don? Huh? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll go ahead and get the other mic. They come in pairs, maybe. Like, looks like a big bird. Huh? I guess he's just red tailed, but he looks big to me from here. Okay, 
Where the hell you got that? There we go. Got him out. Okay. Nice juvenile. Yeah, what did you use the can for? I guess we'll what see. What we use the can for? Yeah. Just subdues them. Oh. Keeps them quiet. Also helps us in processing. Put them in the can. Keeps him quiet. Gives us some uh, place to work on him. How's the pigeon looking? Perfect. All right. Nothing wrong. That's what those harnesses are for. Protects the bird. We like to figure if you fool a hawk, you catch a hawk. Where'd he come from? Uh, right straight out of the south almost. This a juvenile too? Yes. Now the adults have a rufous reddish tail. Yeah. With no bars in it. It's just oh, okay, no bars. All right, yeah. got it. Well, these are brown. Yeah. They're red. Reddish color. That's why they call them red tails. All right. <laughs> Charlie, after a little while, the pigeon will learn to look for hawks. Mm. And sometimes you can tell when there's a hawk in the air because the pigeon starts ducking and looking around. Hmm. Yeah, I'd think that would spook him after a while. For being a... That was an immature? Yep. For being a lousy day. Not bad. Not bad, yeah. You always start with the first one you caught. Oh yeah. Take we do them do all the measurements and everything by time. So you can kind of tell the size of the band by size of the leg. By size of the leg. How many hogs do you guys think you've banded up here? Since 95 is over a mile. Really? Wow, that's a lot. Unfortunately, a lot of these young guys are probably going to get killed in the next six months. Yeah. Hit by cars and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't last long. You let them go right away, or you wait until they're all done? Uh, we'll let them go right away. Okay, can I get a shot of that? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, 
What's that second piece of tape you're putting on there? Well, we don't have any more lock-on bands. Oh. So we, oh, I we're see. using technically a, what they call a butt-end band. And this kind of helps, keeps that bird from taking it off. Yeah. Probably not real heavy, is it? No. And the tape will stay there for a long time. What you, oh, I see you're measuring that measuring joint. Wing. Okay. Oh, I see. Put him back in. Just to weigh them? Yep. 917 grams. Mm -hmm. Minus his uh, band, right? Yeah, we don't worry about the band. How much does the band weigh? Maybe Not much. half a gram or fraction. Something. Bird going out. All clear. Yeah. Right over top of you. Sounds like a peregrine.